Hello again everyone, we are Gaming by Gaslight, welcome back to another episode of Curse of the Dead Gods. When we last left off, we were running a rather experimental build that unfortunately did not pan out for us, but it gave us a, a bit of a, a look at, you know, some different ways of trying things, so that was good I think. Alright, Titan Slayer right off the bat, it's got no special abilities on it whatsoever. You got a, you have no perception on you, but we get an early plus 4% damage per thousand gold. Which admittingly is going to make me probably play a little silly like and get a whole bunch of corruption early on. But then again, sometimes that, that just makes things more fun, doesn't it? I guess we'll see. I mean, there's the question of whether I would even want to keep that, uh through the entire run, because as, as I keep saying, I really should look at the damage from such bonuses as a nice extra rather than an entitlement, as it were. Make our lives a little easier in that particular regard. Alright. No additional money. That's okay. We have also... I swapped out our more damage based on our combo for more dexterity for a perfect room. Just to kind of see how that might change things. I mean, ideally, probably, we should be playing with both because then we do more damage as we, uh... As we're killing enemies, but then... Which would make it easier to perfect a room because, of course, the faster enemies die, the less chance uh, we give them to hurt us. Which is always good. Because I don't think we want to get hurt. You are very lucky, dark scum. Anyway. But, uh, you know, the thing of course is that with... With the extra dexterity each perfect floor, I mean it's only 2% additional damage, but 2% is better than nothing. Oop. Easy does it now, friend. So, you know, it's a, it's a bit of a balancing game on what it is exactly we want out of life. But, uh, yeah. And, and I still do find myself sort of kind of wondering Hmm. Now yeah, I'm gonna pay in gold. Because later in the game, later in the game is when we probably want to be spending all of our. Or when. Later in the game is when we want to pay corruption. At this stage of the game, we want to make sure that we keep our. our corruption low ish. Until we have a chance to, you know, uh, run away with the game, as it were. Shoot. Oh, well, actually, no, never mind. That worked out pretty much perfectly for us. And a jewel hammer. A little bit of passive illumination, a little bit of, uh, oop. A little bit of extra damage, though it is a bit slower. Though, going from sword to hammer, the difference in attack speed is pretty minimal. So I don't think we need to worry too terribly much there. Oop, easy does it. No, oh, gas let you fool. Okay, get a little shot in there. Let your stamina regenerate a little. Kill him because he's probably the bigger threat. The big old lantern orb takes his sweet time to charge up and attack. And overall, we are good. Yeah, we're still at a point where paying gold makes sense. We lose 4% damage there, but, you know, I'm probably even going to get rid of that particular emblem before the end of the run in order to get a, you know, a more permanent and reliable uh, 
stat upgrade. Since, you know, better to have things that are reliable than powerful, I guess. Well, I guess there's an argument to be had either way with these sorts of things. All right, large man? No large man. It's kind of fortunate. Ooh. Though I, I think we can all agree that probably the optimal upgrade we could get here would be to make our kill count last longer, because one of our biggest ongoing problems, I think, is just the stress that comes from, oh, I've got such a high combo and it gives us all the more money or possibly, you know, more damage or what have you. And I don't want to lose it, but then, of course, we lose it. Or worse, we take damage and then lose it due to, you know, making silly, silly, silly errors in judgment. Though I suppose, of course, I mean, I guess the way to look at everything is to, like, treat everything as a bonus rather than an entitlement, as I said before, or something that we're, like, owed in a fashion, if that makes sense. Though it's hard, because you get used to, you know, having all your cool powers here. And then to lose them can be a real... Don't you dare take my combo away from me, you... You horrible, horrible person. Alright, let's see. I mean, the Titan Slayer does more damage, but... Well, and it also does guaranteed critical damage against Elite's champions and bosses. But the spear has longer range and restores more stamina per kill. But then again, on a boss fight, we're not going to be likely... Uh, you know, it's not going to make that much difference anyway, because we're never going to be able to kill a boss in, like, one... One full, uh, like, yeah, in five hits. Though, to be honest, if they ever make some ability that lets you kill a boss in five hits, like, it's like a super rare emblem that you get only... Okay, that, you know, that actually worked out. I swear sometimes as well that the higher your greed counter gets, the the faster it goes down. That's probably just my imagination. Now, more stamina. You know, I am actually tempted to pay some money for that, so I will. I mean, as long as I keep this, uh, as long as I keep the greed counter alive so we get all this, uh, sweet, sweet money, we, yeah. I mean, especially after bosses, like, I'm pretty sure that one time we beat Jaguar Lord while maintaining our kill counter, our money basically doubled. I think. That might be my imagination, but... Alright, that was a little bit of showboating there. And one should not showboat. Not, uh... Not polite. And we're we're not out of the woods yet. I am interested in seeing what will happen. Like just in terms of like how much money we can acquire if I actually do a run so perfectly that we never take uh, damage and keep the combo going from beginning till end. I don't know if I'll ever have the skill to actually pull that off, mind you. And we'd also need the perfect storm of getting a combo extender, or time extender, whatever you want to call it. But you know what? I I believe, I believe, at least, you know, as much as one can believe in anything, that we'll be able to pull this stuff off, eventually. No, no, don't summon a minion. Ah, you're just making me take longer to get through this, and they're all gonna die anyway. And yeah, I'll, I'll spend money on that, because again, it's... The cost is low enough that we can afford to do that. 
All right. So we're doing good. We're doing great. No gaslight. Ah, bullocks. <laughs> I had a feeling he was going to do that. But I thought to myself, hey, you know what? I bet I can dodge. I should have tried parrying, though. I probably wouldn't have been able to do either. Oh, dear. That's unfortunate, but, you know, life goes on. Beautifully done. Guaranteed criticals. Ah, if only, if only, I hadn't used the Titan Slayer when I did. If I had just waited for him to attack first. Let's see, each kill restores an additional stamina, plus uh, the extra health. We've got a bow, which is also not bad. And we, of course, have this, which does double damage. Alright. Hey! Ah, screw it, I'm gonna take it anyway. I was gonna say, maybe I shouldn't because, you know, we wanna... wanna try and do these things without the... the... the weapons and things that we know we're good with. But then the flip side to that is, you know what? You just wanna win- oh, nice. A money pot room. I mean, it's, it's just free gold at this point. Assuming, of course, that I, you know, don't take damage on the fight. Alright, get your s Yeah, that's good. I don't know, get out, get out of there. The combo is not the most important thing in the world. It matters far more. I mean, I'm one shot- I'm at a point where I can one shot the basic menial enemies. I also didn't quite pay attention to how much money I got there, but it looks like I think we doubled our, our hull. So, yeah, yes. And we're gonna get a chance to do it again, so... Yay. I guess. It's just good stuff. Anyway. It's... Free... Money. How dare you, sir. Extra 10% base damage for spears. Like the game wants me to win. Which I mean, to be honest. You know, I, I'm pretty sure game developers in general generally make games that they want you, the player, to win. You know, um, even if the game is hard and tough, even like even a brutal game like uh, say Dark Souls, I'd say the developers do at the end of the day. They're they're in your corner. They want you to win. They want you to prosper, even if it doesn't always seem that way. Because I have to imagine, you know, when you create a video game, uh, as a developer, you want uh, to in in some way empower your players. Give them a little entertainment, a little bit of fun. I mean, there's probably some, you know, jerk developers out there who are like, Yeah, let's make a game that's like, as, as, uh, you know, needlessly convoluted and needlessly painful as possible for only true masochists. But then again, I guess even in that case, if it's a game designed for masochists, then it, it you know, they still want their, uh, players to do well, I guess. Since, you know, if you like pain, then I guess, uh, you know, I guess it, that that's for you, not for me. But for it's something for some people. So as long as you're not hurting anyone, it's not my place to judge. Or at least, you know, that's the the stance I try to take on most things. You know, I may find something. You know, someone's uh, no, my combo. You know, there's, there's some stuff that, you know, people like in this world, or that people do, that I think, oh, that's weird. Then I think to myself, you know what? It's not hurting me. Why should, why should I, uh, judge people too harshly for it? At the end of the day, we're all just trying to get through this crazy world together, I suppose. At least that's the way I try to look at it. Uh, we have played with this last time. Let's... You know, let's let's just go with what we've got. 
So I am disappointed in myself for losing that 2% damage upgrade by taking damage, but it happens. Sometimes we make silly mistakes and the only thing to do from there is to, you know, just learn from them. Ideally, don't make them again. And, and frankly, I mean, yeah, like, look at this. Look at that. Look at that. They... No, 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 no. Okay, maybe take out the Baron if I can. There we go. 1350, that's a pretty good haul. Plus we've got our, uh, you know, add 50% on top of that. That's pretty good. Plus now we're getting all that extra, extra damage because of our blessings. Hmm. I think I'll go Relic Mystery Room. It just feels right to me. Probably not gonna buy a Relic, but I might decide to. You never know. Why did I... Why did I do that? I knew... From the beginning, that that Jaguar statue was probably gonna hit me in the face. But in my arrogance, I thought, ah, it... It... It, it won't hit me. I'll be perfectly fine. But I gotta remember, when the Jaguar statues... Align... When the Jaguar statues align, bad stuff- you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and take this anyway just because I- Or no, no I won't. I was going to, but then I didn't. Oh, my poor health bar. And all the money I could be making. If only, if only I hadn't taken that bad damage. Alright, what does this do? I like it. I like this as well. That's also pretty nice. I mean, I'd like some healing. I don't know if I want to risk my rerolls now. So I'm going to actually, I'm going to go ahead and take this engraved breastplate. Because just looking at how we've been playing so far, we probably need it. Maybe this will be a healing fountain room. Or maybe I just won't take damage uh, for the rest of the run. Who knows? It is not a healing fountain room. That's unfortunate. But, no, 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 don't. And trigger these things. Not until we're absolutely ready. And yeah, might as well, might as well destroy a couple extra Jaguar statues. Make it a little easier for us to not get murder boned. All right. Though 15% of our health is still gonna be a fair amount of our health, given like, what we have left. Oh no. I regret just about everything involving that, especially because there is no- Oh! I was gonna say there's nothing back here. Oh god. But there is, in fact, something back here. But probably wasn't worth letting myself take all that damage for, so... That was a silly one of me. But oh well. I mean, the important thing in all this is that we are still alive. We are just very badly hurt. Yeah. Okily dokily and nothing too exciting there. So we just move on. My poor health bar. Please die. Large man is dead. That was the only thing we really had to fear in that room. Now that we don't have to fear it anymore, life is good. We also uh, are about to get our second curse. Unless I somehow manage to do something that nullifies it. Enemy corruption deals less. You know what? I like what I have, so I'm gonna... I'm gonna stick with it. Okay, so... If I don't go to the healing fountain room after this, 
I'm, or if I do go to the healing fountain room after this, I miss out on a timed room and a stat room. It's unfortunate, but eh. I'm also kind of looking at this and I've you know, maybe I've been taking more damage than I thought, but my, uh, I don't know, my stamina or my uh, dexterity doesn't seem to be that. Oh, it's you. Right, I kind of forgot that we were entering the boss fight here. No gaslight, you fool. That one caught me a little by surprise. Oh god, I okay, I need to go to the healing fountain room after this. And I need to not get hit. There we go, get those critical hits in. Worth it. Okay, remember, yeah, wait. And make sure we get those sweet critical hits. I'm gonna actually pull back. Not going to happen. It could actually happen. Oh. That... That actually was kind of funny. You teleported right in front of my spear. I totally would have missed that. I'm gonna get rid of this. I like the extra fireballs, but I do have a feeling that they are going to get me killed. Enemy attacks deal less corruption. Each greed kill removes corruption. Yeah, let's maybe swap that out. I like having this extra stamina as well. Yeah, you know what, I'll, we'll stick with what we've got. And I guess we, we better go to the healing fountain room. We're gonna get corrupted one way or the other. But you know what? That's okay. Mostly because... I, I think the odds are still mostly in our favor that any corruption we acquire is still going to possibly benefit us. Possibly. It could happen. It might not, though. Alright. Now, I would actually really like to do well on this section here. Make sure that we uh, keep our combo relatively high. You know what? Should have got rid of the bats. Oh no, oh no, oh no! Oh god. Oh, I... I freaking rolled! But apparently I did not roll in time. That makes me sad. Also, I lost... Additional, uh... Damn it on that. Alright, you know what? Actually, the extra bats are not so bad. It's... it is a wonderful life at the end of the day. Uh, I don't really want to replace any of what we have. Alright, little bats, farewell. Farewell, my friends. Well, except for you, you're coming with me, apparently. And I cruelly set you on fire. Probably shouldn't have done that. But I did. Let's see, 4 times 8 is 1632. Alright, I mean, 32% uh, percent more damage. Oh dear. Is quite good. Oh dear. Alright, just be mindful of your stamina. No, 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 please don't. Please don't. And you made me lose my combo. And by you, I mean me. There we go. 
Jaguar was scaring me, so. And I let him hit me. I am quite mad at this point. <laughs> Roll away. Let your stamina recover. Get some hits in. Then run away again. Then run away. Okay. Kill the Jaguar. Careful, you're standing right at the edge of a spike pit. I was at the edge of a sp I was at the edge of a spike pit. Just as I suspected. Okay. Well, this is our last chance to pick up a new weapon, so we might as well roll around and see what we've got. Well, I mean, this hammer does do more damage. And we remove the 100% uh, damage taken thing. Let's keep rolling, though, just to, just to see. Not entirely sure what... I'm looking for. I mean, that's actually... <laughs> that's actually pretty good. And you know what? We'll pay for this in blood. And we've been fighting in the darkness a lot anyway. And also, that boss fight is going to take place in the darkness, so... As long as we focus on just building up our combo from here on out, we should... Hopefully... Be okay. And, you know, what's a, a couple extra curses between friends, right? We'll be fine. Totally, totally f Oh, dear. You know... If I'm smart about this... Actually go around the room without setting off any of these jaguar heads will get me the money without any of the risk. And that is a good thing. All right, let's see what we've got over here at the end of... All right. I can't go back again, can I? Kind of forgot about that. Oh well. All right, there isn't. Oh dear. I tried to, why did I try to parry it? I mean, I know I can, but I shouldn't have, is the point. Also, you know what, I just realized. I'm pretty, sh I'm pretty sure. That double damage is on top of, uh... Was on top of, uh, like, the damage we were visibly seeing. I think. So... Spear was actually still stronger. I think. So... Yeah, I kind of feel silly on that one. At least I think that's how that works. Don't you dare. Well, then again, no. I mean, I am doing a... I'm doing comparable damage. But I could be doing so much more, is the thing. Please die. You nasty, nasty bats. Alright, well... Uh, <laughs> I just don't know. I mean, I feel like I, pr I feel like I still made mostly the right choice with the um, the build we're going for here. And the hammer is not a spear, so that does mean that we're uh, you know getting rid of our uh, spear dependence, or we're working on weaning ourselves off our spear dependence. So that's not a bad thing. Oh yeah, look at that. Thank goodness. 
Not all the jaguar heads. Spit fire. Because that could have been a little scary. Fortunately, it was not. And a lot of blazing blades that seem to have very similar effects on them. Ah, funny how that one worked out. Alright, let's just smash the enemies. There we go. Oh my god, gaslight you idiot. Why would you do that to yourself? You'd figure at this point I would remember there are spikes there. But I guess if you thought that, you would be wrong. Listen. I couldn't parry. I knew I wouldn't be able to parry, but I tried anyway. And honestly, keep putting myself in these bad positions, but... I'm... I actually... Thinking about it, I can kind of blame it on my reliance on spears because generally I expect, because of course the spear is faster, that I will be able to dodge these things. But I can't because there is that kind of cooldown before you can move or act again after swinging. Well, aside from attacking, you can keep attacking for the most part. But like, yeah, like I. Wrong, wrong, wrong thing, guess. Like, yeah, like if I swing this. Yeah, there's a gap, but I can do this, and then, like, cancel out of it. Can't do that with, uh... Yeah, that was dumb. I'm gonna blame this entirely... ...on, uh... ...my use of spears and ever faster weapons. That's why I gotta practice with these heavy things. Even if we lose a couple of runs here... We are ultimately making ourselves stronger. That's a good thing. Alright, so we're getting 40% more damage now, but also, by the way, at our current uh, money situation, we could be making considerably more had I not made some of the, uh, you know, blunders we made. But that's acceptable. These are acceptable losses. The pursuit of learning. Even though I do get kind of... I hate when that happens. Where sometimes, uh, after a dodge... I kind of seem to get stuck... ...on a corner. Please die. Please die. I cannot help but notice that you are not dead. Oh, that damnable bat. Alright, let's see here. Well, we're not going to need this anymore. Perception's not terribly useful. Oh, jeez. I think we can survive possibly one hit from the boss, but I'm not going to count on it. So if we win this fight, it will be a testament to our power. Okay, that was not a good start. However, okay, okay, and no gaslight, don't die. I wanna, I wanna get him to at least half health before I die, then I'll count it as a win. A win for learning. You know, Jaguar Lord, sometimes I don't like you. Okay, he's going to try attacking us. And... Damn. Well, shucks. Anyway, till the next time, as always, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Remember, with heavy weapons, give yourself enough time for that cooldown so you can dodge or parry or whatever you need. I'll see you all in the next video.